So it's time for the final presentation of the conference. It gives me pleasure to introduce Matvey Kapolov. Tell us what Apple III School is, uh, because Matvey lives in Seoul. He represents Space Club. So, good evening. My name is Matvey Kapolov. Apple Tree is a school where we have classes and where there is a space club run on the, run by Nikolai, the previous speaker. So what we need to do is assemble an antenna with our own hands to be able to receive satellite imagery and process it later. As we know, the greatest achievement to USSR was the launch of Sputnik 1, uh, which pushed the envelope of space exploration, later orbital stations were built, MKS, later we could launch large numbers of satellites and it got popularized and today we're witnessing multitudes of satellites. Of course it has the reverse side. Out of 70,000 satellites, less than 1,500 are still active. The others are debris. We are lucky that the atmosphere of the Earth is capable of radiating not only what we call light, but partially infrared light, which is a source of additional information from space and also radio waves to control satellites. The receiving antennas can vary in size and shape. This can be enormous satellites. This one is pretty big. We required much smaller antennas, evidently. So we are going to receive data from Meteor M2 and no AA. We will need both of them because they serve different purposes. Meteor M2 has larger coverage and better resolution. And I think it's more relevant for Korea than for any other country. This is how a signal from Meteor 2 looks. This is how a signal from NOAA looks like. This is what we expect to receive from Meteor. It's an image of Crimea received by our supervisor. And let me tell you about station itself. What is it? What it is made up of. We need an antenna. Uh, we need a low noise amplifier, a radio receiver, and a computer. The antenna. We need to calculate the diameter, the wavelength. 2.2 meters. The frequency range is 137 gigahertz. So this is the formula that uh, we use. The antenna will be made out of copper. Also, we need to take into account the standing wave factor, about 1.2. Our supervisor has already as assembled such antennas, so he knows these numbers. We also expect to assemble low noise amplifier following the circuitry uh, designed by our scientific supervisor, and of course we will need software. Arbitron, SDR Sharp, we plan to run some tests with NOAA imagery, but the, the primary job will be done with images from 
meteor too. Here you can see our space club in action. We have kids that are pretty, pretty small, pretty young, so they're still trying to grasp the idea of it all. Some of them are struggling. I mean, it's not challenging to assemble an antenna, but receiving uh, images is the main part of our work. Yeah. You can get different pictures, different spectral bands. These are the images acquired by our teacher earlier. And we have plans to get similar ones. And now I'd like to show you how important these things are in Korea. Why? In Korea it's of special importance. For instance, this infrared image, it shows that this image was taken in summertime with a lot of dust and it's interesting to see that the temperature of water and temperature of land were not that much different so we can see that the dust can be followed by satellite using IR because dust is one of the biggest problems in Korea also we can similarly analyze water and temp water temperature the, this is the Korean uh, peninsula, we can see that in the northwest the temperature is higher temperature than to the south and it's a huge amount of information that we can acquire using our own antenna and we hope that we'll be able to follow the dynamics and many things can be learned from that. Such antennas have been put together by our sin scientific uh, team leader in State University and elsewhere. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you, Matvey. Does anybody have questions? I have f the first question. Everything you have shown on these pictures, this is not your aerial, your antenna that was receiving it. No, it was the antenna that was assembled by our scientific leader before that. So the first task was to make sure that we do it ourselves. When will you have, have the first reception information? We have plans to do it in the early November, early November. Maybe you came here too early. Otherwise, you would be talking about the actual practical results, right? Anyway, colleagues, looking at the solutions, there are two solutions. One solution offered by Lorette, also quite sophisticated one, right? The company Lorette, when Vladimir and I started Scanex, we offered uh, IR range uh, stations. We sub supplied them to UK, Japan, and Israel, and we decided that it won't be enough to pay our bills, and uh, we'll decide to go into different resolution. Yeah, I remember your stations. They were receiving information from NOAA. I keep telling. Uh, Victor to build IR stations as well. Okay, other questions? Where are so many Russian speaking people in Korea? I can answer this. In fact, Korea has Samsung. At least in previously, Samsung was hiring a lot of people from different countries, and, uh, and there are a lot of people whose parents are related to science and so scientific people are plenty in Korea. I can tell you about 25,000 25, Russian engineers live in Korea, 25,000 who live here for more than a year. And as long as it exists on the basis of the Russian school, which is located in Dantan, the guys there study in Russian it is Russian teachers who teach there, and we did uh, organized our own club. Koreans study there, mo mixed families mostly, but they study in Russian, which is important. Do you speak Korean? No. Apple tree is this school, right? Yes. 
motivated and when we unfortunately the head of the uh, Roscosmos is not here uh, Mr. Zaichka, I will tell him about your presentation when we speak about the reception of information. We should also prepare the so-called Inca pores. What do you call them? The ground-based complexes for reception, processing, and dissemination of information. So aside from the stations, reception stations, you must also prepare some kind of software, storage system, dissemination system, do you do this? This is my first question. And the second question, from the standpoint of uh, data processing by Meteor or NOAA, what kind of information you want to retrieve there? Visual only, or maybe some automatic processing as well? I'm asking Matvey this. Can you please repeat the first question? I spoke for at length about how the ground-based systems on reception processing information is organized. Do you have plans to, for instance, you have received information after that, you need to store it, distribute it. In other words, prepare this information for subsequent use. So it is like primary processing and the secondary processing would imply retrieving useful information from those pictures like about forest fires something you show the examples about pollution do you plan to make all the subsequent cycles of processing of information starting from storage and ending with the subsequent processing or you have plans only to do the reception only of course we are planning to store information but all of it will be done within the small scale without any special distribution but rather for educational purposes the same would be true about the reception reception is done for educational purposes but in future who knows all of it is possible all the rest is possible in future as i showed on the example of dust dust perhaps is the simplest example of dust i'm sure there will be many more applications which are relevant for Korea. And based on this data, NOAA, and you also had used MeteorM. You get a picture, okay. Then what do you want to make out of this picture? Just as I showed from IR pictures, one can see the amount of dust, because the dust can be viewed on IR because it's in the way. I believe that this is quite an interesting presentation, colleagues. Any further questions? Anyway, brilliant presentation. Thank you very much. Thank you, Matvey. I believe that our conference and our industry has great future because we have a new generation of people growing up, which I'm sure will catch up with people who are practicing remote sensing and uh, or develop something totally new in future. I have no doubts about that. So we're done with this panel, colleagues. Are there any final notes and uh, remarks to make? I wanted to add one thing. Of course, now you guys received a lot of information and their task is to build the actual station and learn how to receive the data. Later on, another part of it goes into play, the accumulation of data, because NOAA is made up of three satellites, Meteor also three. We can get uh, almost 16 pictures per day, then it's connected to the automatic system of information control, Orange PI, the guys will program for it, make an automatic system, and then we have at play the Samsung engineers, our Russian guys who are mostly doing image analysis, analytics here. So they're not going to be part of this process. They're going to teach kids how to work with these images, train them how to analyze it, how to also rectify it, uh, develop algorithms, because there are an endless number of algorithms for analysis. This is what the game plan is. Then we'll start working with, spec with bands and different spectra. 
Maybe we'll uh, use NDVI index and uh, explain them what it is all about, because now kids don't understand what it is all about. Then we'll connect to it big data, because then we'll have a lot of images in about a year or two, and they'll grow up. Maybe we'll connect artificial intelligence to it to teach them with that. Of course, there's huge room for improvement, and these stations are installed in Korea. We also submitted one station to Lugansk, to Yakutia, Blagoveshinsk in Thailand, in Mexico, in uh, Moscow region, Novosibirsk, and so on. And now we are uniting these guys into a network. Uh, they're united on Amazon platform. It's not expensive, and uh, all of them get all these pictures from each other, and they can analyze them. And then we are cooperating with Ross Kidromet, asking them to task us for this resolution so far. We cannot set our own tasks. We are just engineers. Maybe we'll go to you, to the professional community. Give us a task that kids, you think, can solve with this resolution and with these images. Then it would be great. Yes, I'm sure it will be great. I can only offer to you if you approach your research metrical information, if you reach the words photogrammetry, come to us, we will help you. Thank you once again. Dear colleagues,